How's it going? I'm Isla Golden and welcome to my vlog. Alright, okay, so um, fairly obviously at this point I did not manage to get We Giants out <laughs> for September 30th. Um, as of filming this, I'm still in the process of um, editing through it. Um, those things that I thought were going to interfere with the editing process definitely interfered, and then obviously there was a whole headache of having to get a new laptop, um, which uh, also interfered with how quickly I've been able to get through things. Um, I've definitely been doing a much tighter edit this time through. I've definitely been able to pay the extra attention and ask. One of the ways that I've been doing that is by not trying to always do two chapters in a row. Um, sometimes I'm, I'm like giving myself that space in between. Um, especially if like I know I've got other things that I need to be getting on with, like say food shopping or vlog filming or going out and seeing anybody or stuff like that. Um, instead of sort of like trying to cram like loads of stuff in and uh, not giving myself the, the headspace to concentrate on it. Uh, like, like I said before, a lot of the edits I've been doing, I've not been concentrating on it as much as I could be. Um, so I definitely feel like this edit has been a lot tighter, a lot, uh, a lot more filled with concentration. <laughs> I know that's not the best way of phrasing it. Um, so I'm still hopeful I will get to the end of this one and go yeah okay this is the final edit through um I may not because I always get so paranoid at this stage and I always I'm like I've probably missed a million things there's probably a million things that I could do better um but uh, at some point I'm going to have to say that it's ready <laughs> so yeah I'll see how I feel at the end of this edit um what I have done though is I have finally written the blurb um, and added the blurb to the KDP um, setup page. I've also finalised the cover and have added that and uploaded that to um, the, uh, the um, KDP uh, editor stuff as well. <laughs> I can't think what it's called. Um, so those things have both been uploaded, um, so now when I go on to my main page for it and I'm sort of like looking down, uh, We Giants does have a cover on it now, uh, so that does look quite good. Obviously it's not a cover that's visible to the public just yet, um, but it's still quite exciting that it's there and it's looking quite good. Um, I'm quite happy with it, I, I mean I know it's not like... I, I know it's not like necessarily the most interesting looking cover in the world, but it does look really good. I think it matches up quite well. Um, and it's kind of a nice uh, uh, counterbalance to the cover for Hyena Boy, which is what I wanted. So you've got the two sort of like more abstracty ones, and then you've got the two sort of more uh, grounded kind of ones, which makes me wonder why I'm, I'm not planning on doing something similar for the next series where I've got like two abstracty ones and then two not abstracty ones. Um, but again, I guess that's sort of like all relative <laughs> in a lot of ways, that's all kind of relative. Um, as I said, I, I, I just trying to think of uh, what will make the most sense with, with the, the, the last two covers for the, the subsequent series. Um, obviously that's still being editing and ticking along in the background nicely as well. Um, I'm thinking at this stage, just concentrate on getting We Giants out before the end of this year and that will give me the more editing time for doing the, the other series and then concentrate on getting that series out next year whilst continuing to write the two series that I'm also working on um, at the moment as well. So yeah, it's a case of, yes, things have not gone exactly to plan this year, but I could say that about a lot of things that have happened this year um, that were not necessarily expected and were not necessarily, you know, how I thought this year would go, um, which have kind of altered my plans in some ways um, 
so yeah I mean at the end of the day you know I'm, I'm somebody I have a life I have things that go on in that life that are going to interfere with like the things that I want to be doing um and it's okay that that happens it's okay that you know things take longer than you think they're going to take um I mean part of it with Three Giants is it is a massive book to have to get through it I'm very glad that I've kind of gone you know what I'm not writing anything that's this length again I want to make sure that all the subsequent books that I bring out are of a shorter more consistent sort of length um not necessarily always the same length but like shorter um because a it's easier for marketing purposes and b it's easier for editing purposes um so yeah all, all the books I should be bringing out uh, from here on out should be sort of shorter and a lot more manageable um at some point I will look back at those two series that um are currently paused hiatus uh kind of thing and and sort of tidy those up but those feel like very big projects um certainly in terms of having to like go through and format them correctly and stuff like that so it's kind of one of those things where I will do it eventually but I'm sort of putting it off for it now whilst I'm still having to do a um I want to say nine to five job but I don't work nine to five I work eight to four working an eight to four job <laughs> alongside it um which you know obviously also takes up a lot of time and a lot of headspace and, and stuff like that so um at the moment it's kind of easier to kind of work with stuff that has been written in the correct format and just needs to be tidied up and checked through and you know changes made to it um so that it makes sense and so that it's consistent and, and stuff like that um rather than having to go back to a series where like the first thing i'm gonna have to go uh, to do is go back through it and like reformat everything um i mean i know i did it with the two don't make some books so I know exactly how much of a headache it is. I know I did it with Hyena Boy when um, I got Hyena Boy ready for publishing. And I think I had to do it with Echo as well. So I think Echo was still written when I was using tab instead of like the uh, indented format uh, paragraph uh, version of it that I do now. And I, I, I'm basically right now in uh, with things edited for the ebook format. Um, so that when I go to create the ebook, um, I just literally just need to like transfer things over, and it's just gonna like it's gonna be fine. Um, it's like it's easier in the long run to kind of just just have it like pre-edited, uh, pre-formatted in the right um, format. <laughs> um, especially like you know with my longer books being ebook only, yeah, it's just been it's just been a much easier process to kind of go. You know what? I'm just gonna have it like this and then I don't have to worry about it, I don't have to think about it. Um, it also kind of makes it easier for like converting it into um, paperback stuff as well to have it all sort of pre-formatted correctly. Um, I mean it's not as much as helpful but it does still help. Um, makes things a little bit easier uh, that's what I want to say. So yeah, um, yeah, that's very much kind of where I am. I am. What's going on with everything at the moment? I am hopefully doing the last uh, edit through of the Giants now. Hopefully, I will get that one out before the end of the year, and then next year we will tackle the What Makes Me series and hopefully get all four books up for that. Um, I would do more work for the covers for those four books or at least for the first two of those four books um because i know what i want to go on them but it's the having the items <laughs> that's kind of the problem at the moment is i don't have the right items um well i don't have the right color of item for the first image that i want and i don't own the thing that i want for the second cover at all um so i may be having to ask people um because it's cheaper than acquiring it and there there is a chance i might be able to get uh some of these things you know somebody else can take the the photo for me i just be like just just make sure it's like a black background and then i can like photoshop it so it's just the the bit that i need um we'll see we'll see how it goes um i'm you know i, I might be able to sort of do something um 
personally for one of them it's going to be probably easier than the other one and with the other one it's a case of um i might be able to take something that i have which is technically the item just the item in the wrong color and i might be able to teach myself to color correct um but i'm not sure i'm going to be good enough at color correcting in order to make that work um so it would be easier to try and find somebody who has the item in the right color um and then like either borrow it or <laughs> just get them to take photos for me depending depending entirely on the, the situation that i'm faced with at that point in time um but yeah that's very much what's going on at the moment that's very much where everything is at at the moment um writing wise as i said would have been nice to have gotten out all the books this year that i wanted to i was not expecting to do quite so many edit throughs of we giant um but you know a lot has happened this year um a lot has gone on this year so although i wasn't expecting to have to do so many edit throughs at the end of the day you know i can't help that the year the year that i've had i can't help the way things have gone um i just need to sort of roll with it and rock with it and you know move forward and basically go okay this is this is the year um as it is um so i'm just gonna accept that this is what's happened i'm really happy at the fact that once i'm happy i can just um convert the the word document into a kdp uh formatted <laughs> document i don't know what it's called <laughs> And then upload it to KDP and then set the prices and then I can decide whether I want to like release it right away or if I want to sort of like go, no, I'm going to release it on this date. I've got everything up and everything ready. Um, I'm going to sort of, you know, do X, Y and Z to sort of do X, Y and Z. Um, so, yeah, it's, yeah, it's very much that kind of situation at the moment. Um, yeah, I can't really think what else to say. <laughs> So yeah, it's another sort of book updatey sort of one, uh, but I feel like it's one of those things I kind of needed to sort of do, especially because I'd sort of said at the end of last month, um, or when I say the end of last month, I mean the end of August, that I was hoping to get We Giants out maybe at the end of September, depending on whether or not I could speed up the editing a little bit i've not been able to speed up the editing a little bit so this is just a situation that i'm in and i'm hoping to get it out before the end of the year but at this moment in time it will be out when it is out um the cover is ready for it the blurb is ready for it we literally just need to upload the document set the prices and then decide exactly what the release date is but i can't decide that until i have finished doing everything else so yeah um yeah okay so i hope you found this little updatey kind of thing interesting i hope you're excited to seeing um just for, for we giants release and then uh for the release of all the books next year as i said the books next year are going to be a lot shorter um when i say a lot shorter they're all exactly 19 chapters and each chapter is roughly 10 pages so when i say they're shorter they are not they're substantially shorter uh considering we giants is like 500 plus pages and like 36 plus chapters 38 chapters something like that um so yeah they they are a lot and i'm, I'm talking a4 pages it's going to convert differently um like i'm imagining um the four books will be around about the same length as um spoken before use and welcome to Maryvale when they do release um so yeah it's sort of a more standardized sort of length um yes all right okay so i hope you're all looking forward to all of that stuff um i hope you found this one sort of interesting even though it's mostly sort of like a rambly kind of yeah this is where everything's at the moment blah 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 um, I'm hoping you're looking forward to whatever it is that I'm going to be talking about next time and I will see you next time. See ya. <laughs> if you've enjoyed this video, consider checking out some of my others and if you like what you see, consider liking and subscribing. Thanks for watching. See ya.